Good morning. Three loads of steel arrives today and the shed builders. There's a hired forklift, two cherry pickers. Crane will be coming at some point. We are kicking off the shed building now. Creek feeders to fill first. Look at that for a field of OSR. It is motoring. You'll have seen some of this video before, but I was working on the drill and I was underneath it and it didn't have the stands on. Quite a few people pointed that out that I should have had the stands on and I should have. So I took that down because I probably shouldn't be promoting that. So I'll not do it again. Living it alone. Anyway, here's the rest of the video. Also, two farming Crawford's podcast link down below. There's a new episode out. Gay lady's got a promotion. He's driving a tractor now. Tractor lady. Got a lorry coming in the morning for some straw. Sunday today. She's a natural. Name the song. And she's off, up to the yard. There's 24 bales on there. I'll take another two up, 26. Just need to get a full load, which is 76 or 72, depending if the lorry's got a space for four bales above his cab or not. See what reversing skills are like. This makes it look easy. A wee bit better than her sisters anyway. I've never had her doing this job yet. Uh, she's trying to do it my way, just shunting them over. It's definitely easier if you put the grab flat and grab them, then put them, put it up again. I just shunt them over and then grab them, which is, I find it a bit quicker. Hey, Doug. Steady does it. Oh, it's not got much hold to the bottom one. Bottom one's holding all the way at the top one as well. First two are on, 14 more to go. Saves me a job, doesn't it? Right, we've got 20 bales on now, let's go and assess how. Why? That looks a good load. Better than what I make it anyway. It looks a bit dodgy there. But that's because the trailer's got a big ding in it and the bales sit all skewer. That just happened last week. A bale fell and um, the rusty part of the trailer bed collapsed. We should really get on and buy that flipping Stuart flatbed. Dunk and Kev have headed out to start sewing. Dunk's disking, Kev's sewing. I am about to go and get a bit of spraying done on some wheat. Four fields to do. I'm out in the field and it's too wet. I've been once round the end rig and I've made a mess. It's got a bit of a hollow through it, this field. I've got four choices of field. This has probably the steepest bit, but it's the shortest bit. There's another field which has got a few wet patches in it. Didn't want to go there with the full tank. Obviously, I'm at my heaviest right now, so I was picking wisely. We have a wee field, but the whole field's on a slope, so make a mess everywhere. Let's see what the seed's doing. There you go, it's chittered away. Oh, you. It's starting to get going now. Perfect. There's plenty moisture, there's loads of temperature, it's warm as anything. Perfect. Next door is the OSR, which, oh, it's beautiful. This was sown Friday night and Saturday morning, and it is now Tuesday morning. This is where I came down on the end rig, and then over there is where I made a mess going back up and out the hill. I'm just chewing up the ground. No ideal. And I'd end up basically doing that all across that slope on every tram line. I'm just going to hang fire. Might go back out tonight. It might dry up a good bit today. It is warm, but there's no wind about. I mean, once I'm on the flat, yeah, it's still, it's a bit soft, but it's manageable. But here, my wheels were just starting to go. Narrow tyres as well. Not got a huge amount of grip. Pulling a full sprayer. And that's that. Game over. Oh, ho, ho. wide awake. I'm just doing a wee bit of TLC on the sprayer, so PTO cover here is meant to cover the union joint. That white piece of plastic is meant to sit in that groove, um, but it's actually worn enough that it slips in and out, and it means the cover here isn't completely covering the union, it slides back a wee bit. So I need to go and get a new one of these. You can see it's well worn. 
No uncovered PTO shafts. Bad, bad, bad. Don't know if I can actually just pick up a bit of the one of these. See if I can find just one of those. That would be ideal. There goes a load of steel. That plastic PTO insert is quite a unique one, but AP bearings has already run up and hopefully it'll be in tomorrow. In the meantime, me and Dad are about to go shift bales. There's a lorry coming again tomorrow morning for a load of bales, so we'll get a load into the yard. Got the grab on, but I just need to whip it off for a second. Because my granny needs a forklift bucket. Well, her gardener does. So I just need to nip that along the road. One old bucket. Bucket dispatched. Back to bales. Kev's just got two widths of this top bit end rig to do and he ran out of seed. So just getting a wee dribble out of there. Sowing's going fine though. Nice dry conditions. I did get a fair bit of rain the other day. I mean, there's plenty of moisture about, but it's easy worked, it's easy going. I'm just gonna come in here in two minutes once Kev's finished these two widths and spray it. It's not getting rolled. Hopefully there's enough in there now. Told you how little we needed. Job done. Let's get this seed back to the yard. Wheat is done. Not all of it, but we're moving to barley. I'm going to grab the sprayer now. This field will be fine because it just got work today. So it's not actually had rain on top of it to soak in. And that's that. Done. Field done. Didn't make a mess in here, thankfully. Beauty. Nice and neat. Sprayer does this weird thing where you centre it. So that button puts the wheels dead straight, the back two wheels. And you click that sometimes and it does that. It winds all the way out, then bangs it into the middle. Don't know why it does that. It's always done it. Good morning, it's the next day. Yesterday's spraying, I'm gonna get it done now. Field should be in a lot better condition and hopefully won't make a mess. Go on in, hop. Hop, hop, go on in, hop again, hop again. Meat delivery this morning for the butchery. I'm on to field four now. Kev's away just filling up with seed. He's sowing just across the hedge there in that field. We've got five fields of wheat in so far. This one, this one, this one, this one, and this one, the one I'm in right now. This is the last field I need to spray. I've done all the rest, and we're just on to spring barley in this field. Wheat in the ground so far is either KWS Dawson or Inciter wheat, and the barley that is in is Tardis. That's not a good sign. Winter's coming. Logs have been dropped off. Oh no. We sell bags of logs and kindlers at the farm shop, so that's great. I'm dropping off a few boxes full for a reminder that the cold temperatures are coming. Dad's just loaded that lorry up. Sam Kyle, he's also just bought a hat which matches a lorry. He didn't want his reversing on the, on the video. That's the last load. There's been five over the last few days. Heading away to Jake in the west near Drew's farm. If you watch Drew's farm, those bales are going to his neighbour, Jake. We well, sell bales to him every year for his cattle, so he's getting them all in the shed. He usually comes with a wee lorry with 20, but he's just decided to go for a big proper load this time. Spare off, flatbed on. Dad and I are away to shift some bales. We also need to take a ton of seed along the road, so Dad's away to get that, but I don't know where he's gone. There we go. We'll get those two along the road. Off they come again. We're at yard four now, so we'll chuck these in the shed. Those two bags are for the field over there. So that was peeled of fees. Field to field of peas of field. Of field. A field of peas. It's been lifted, it's been harvested. That is Caravel winter barley, is a seed crop. Peas are nitrogen fixers, so they draw nitrogen out of the atmosphere and deposit it in the soil. So you always get a nice, lovely crop after a field of peas. Negotiating out the tight gate with the ditch next to it. Oh, stay up, stay up, stay up, stay up. Now we're good, we're out. A miles back. We're on catch up at the moment. I'm quite far behind with the video, so if you're just getting wee snippets of bits and bobs until I'm caught up, and then we'll be back to normal full days. First load in. I need to unload that seed before it starts raining, because rain's due to come in an hour. Squeeze this in. Check there's nothing in there, it's quite dark. Eight tons squeezed in. Just a bit tight to this tractor over here in the dark, trying not to hit anything. Here comes the rain. Duncan Kev are over in that direction, ballpark. As the crow flies, a mile, something like that, a mile and a half, that way, at yard four. The rain is also coming from that direction, so 
they've just started on the end rig kind of dubious as to whether we should have started on the end rig or just left it but they've started so hopefully we'll get that finished hey ladies come to say bye to me just leaving me hopefully not for another man but just for three or four days i don't know i'm gonna have to fend for myself how do you, how do you like the cooker food's, food's, food's been made pre-prepared lucky man two more loads out of that field and we're done and dusted apart from the other field done the rain's just starting to hit us now duncan kev should get finished it's just drizzling at the moment so it'll be fine <laughs> That field's gonna go into feed barley, Tardis variety. Might get that sown end of the week. Job done. I've just filled up with the Bowser there. Dunk's filled up with the Bowser. Drop that off at yard three so Kev can fill up when he gets back in. He'll just be in our 10 minutes and he'll finish the field. He'll get filled up. This forklift needs to go back to yard two. Then I'm gonna get a lift from dad back to yard one to get my own car. We were expecting three loads of steel to arrive today boys arrived to put it up, the guys who are doing the whole build and zero loads arrived until right now it's half six and a load of rafters arrived can't do anything with rafters because they go on top of the uprights big belter of a load that first big load of steel, a load of rafters which is kind of no use because we've not got any uprights for them but anyway at least one load's here hopefully tomorrow morning the uprights will come and the boys can get everything unloaded. Happy days. Glory drivers, subscribe. Good lad. Hopefully he's watching this. He's asking about Land Rovers, Discovery's Defenders, and if if I think they're reliable. And I said, no. <laughs> Not reliable, but they're awesome. Because a vision softly creeping. See you later. See you tomorrow if you've not already subscribed. In return for watching these videos, which are free. Subscribe. That does me wonders. Thank you very much. And like. See you tomorrow.